Hi, I'm Christina Zerwer, a therapist on staff at Urban Balance. Today, we're going to talk about depression, its signs and symptoms, and some simple steps that you can take towards getting treatment. Do you ever feel sad or anxious, bored or uninterested in your hobbies? Do you ever feel tired, run down all of the time? If you answered yes to these questions, you might be thinking that you have depression. While major depression can be easy to recognize, in which someone may experience seriously low moods that impact their ability to work and function, milder depression or dysthymia can be harder to recognize. So what do these symptoms of depression look like? Depression can look like feeling sad, hopeless, or pessimistic much of the time, overeating or oversleeping, as well as undereating and undersleeping, losing interest in your hobbies or relationships, not wanting to go out, isolating yourself. Self-esteem can suffer. A person can feel that he or she is not a worthwhile individual and can sometimes have thoughts of harming oneself. When experiencing depression, a common symptom can be suicidal thinking. From more passive thoughts, such as it would be better if I wasn't here, to more active thinking and planning, suicidal thoughts can occur and need to be taken seriously. If you or someone you know is experiencing these types of thoughts, resources are available. The National Hope Line is a 24-hour hotline that helps people in these types of situations. The phone number is 1-800-273-TALK. So how does this happen? Depression is directly related to a change in brain chemistry. Our brains are constantly producing all sorts of hormones that help our bodies to function. Some help us maintain our metabolism, some help us to sleep, others help us to feel happy. Without these appropriate levels, our best friend's jokes aren't as funny, it's harder to sleep, and harder to get enjoyment out of life. It's important to remember that depression can operate on a continuum and can look different in different people. While one person might experience just a few of these symptoms in the mild to moderate range, another person might experience all of them and more in a much severe capacity. If you feel like you are experiencing any of these and would like to know more, here are a couple of approved standardized self-assessments that can help you get a better understanding of what might be going on in your life. Depression is something that afflicts millions of people every day. It's nothing to feel ashamed of or judged by. It doesn't mean that you are stupid, lazy, unmotivated, or uncaring. Depression is an illness. It's important to talk with your doctor if you think that you may be experiencing this. He can be very helpful in talking to you about medication and treatment options. A therapist can be helpful in helping you manage your depression every day, learning different ways to cope and communicate. I'm Christina Zerwer, a therapist at Urban Balance, and I thank you for watching. If you would like some more information or assistance in finding a therapist and you live in the greater Chicago area, visit our website at www.urbanbalance.com.